Hello, my name is Fatsis Hobbit and we're playing Minecraft. Today I'm just going to briefly show you what I'm working on and I would like to hear what you guys think. So, this is my little house, um, but the main project is down below. I'm just, I'm trying to build an underground jungle sort of temple, sort of abandoned thing. Um, anyway, let me show it. So this is kind of the entrance, I'm kind of temporarily using this as a storage spot. and. Um, little corridor to the main place as you can see in the distance it's gonna be overgrown overgrown with grass and leaves and um, and waters flowing through it so um, it's it's kind of abandoned um, by the way that's where we've just come down from and I'm still digging it out it's taken ages but here we've got a little fountain um, it's kind of overflown so water's gone right through it um, down the end we have a creeper face that I'm um, it's all it also doubles as a uh, mob spawner so mobs pop down here it, it's connected to uh, a zombie spawner that I found there earlier um, and if we go back down here mind chicken uh, I'm uh, by the way I don't know really what to build here I'm thinking maybe like a little um, destroyed jungle village um, you know as say there's a, a little house there and water literally ripped it all away um, I was thinking of building that instead of loads of grass but I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out um, right through the middle we have this kind of egg monument kind of totem kind of shrine little thing but here we have our crafting space um, which actually this is one of my favorite rooms because it's just it's so asymmetrical, it's weird. I just thought, all right, let's try to put blocks here and see how it goes. Um, furnaces for anything, crafting table right in the middle. Um, and right through here, which I'll probably build next time, is um, my permanent storage space. I want it to be interactive, so I was thinking um, you walk in, kind of like um, Etho, Etho who plays mine, Minecraft, Etho space, you walk in and um, pistons move things around, but I wanted not just that, uh, not just pistons to reveal the uh, chests, but pistons kind of to uh, let water pass through, as if it's the room's almost coming alive. Um, let's run right through here. What I've recently built is an enchanting room, and this took ages. Uh, took a lot of stone to clear out, a lot of cobblestone. Hi, little doggy. Um, but it's kind of like this. So it's a giant room. I don't know if they'll connect it up to anything else yet, um, but right here we have our enchanting table, and you can enchant anything from one to I think eight, eight at that level. Um, but if you want level thirty, there you've got it. You've got everything up to level thirty. There you go. And I actually, I actually quite like it when it's down. Everything's down. Kind of like it looks like it's. Um, almost like an hourglass where it's, it's it's wide at the top then thin in the middle and wide at the bottom but um that took ages i just thought you know that that look cool and yeah let me let me know what you think so the other the other room the last room i've got to show you is um potions now potions um and brewing is very hard to work into a jungle jungle temple theme so I, I kind of got away around that by, um, well, listen to this. Imagine some people found this temple and it had some mystical properties where it turned people into zombies and stuff. Of course they want to research it. They're scientists. So um, they might have set up a lab down here. Of course, the lab was overrun by zombies. So um, hence the flickering lights. Is, uh, just an idea I thought of that it, redstone's kind of a little jittery but um we have these rooms where things spawn in and we're ki quite safe because it's dark but um the original idea I had here was to um, hook it up to a mob spawner which is located underneath but these guys spawn in here quite often so I just leave it and it doesn't overflow hello hello creeper anyway um the potion room is down here, so got all our potions. Um, got quite a few potions. I don't have any farms yet, so this is only for decoration. I need actually somewhere to um, uh, 
um, gather a lot of these things. And I don't know whether I want to put that right in the middle or hide it or something. Because farms usually look very symmetrical and and um, look the same. So I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Anyway, that's what I've built so far. And as I said, the next thing I want to build is a storage room. And I've got, got, got some idea, but it's very redstone heavy, so I don't know how I'll get along. Um, but anyway, um, please hit a, hit the like button or subscribe if you like this. This is my first video, and I just want to throw this out here to see what you guys think. Anyway, this is Fastest Hobbit. I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.